We are here for Crinu 2020. Welcome to Stop Motion Magic. We are going to draw on our experience, get it, draw, to show you how to make an animation by bringing objects to life through movement. The first thing you need to do is download a stop motion app onto your phone, iPad or PC. We use Stop Motion Studio. Its free version has a lot of great features and does everything that we need. To get started, let's go to our guide in the field. It's not moving. You have to animate it first. How do I do that? First, click the plus button. Yeah. Now, make sure your settings are right. Click the cog on the left. Yeah, that's it. Put that to 12. That means the scene will be 12 pictures per second. Click the camera button. Yeah. Now, set up your scene. Use a wall or box for your background. Place your device in a sturdy position. You could use a selfie stick holder, an iPad stand or a tripod. What? What's your human doing? She's making us stand from plasticine. Isn't that messy? She's put some cling film over it first. What a clever human! What's she doing now? She is moving the object and taking a picture. Good! You take a picture by hitting this button. And now... Good human. You move the object. I'll take a picture. You move it. Oops! Oh. Still moving the object. Taking a picture. How many pictures for one second? Twelve pictures, dog. Twelve pictures for one second. How many pictures has she shot? Mm, four pictures? How many seconds is that? Hmm, none. Let's come back when all this is done. See this slider on the left of the screen? When you move it up, it shows you the frame you sh just shot. When you move it down, it's the camera view. Halfway between is onion skinning so you can see the frame you just shot and what you're moving it to now. So when you're finished shooting, hit the arrow up on the top left. This brings up your editing timeline. Hit play. Oh, there she goes. I can see her hands. I can see her hands. Don't worry, dog. We can take that out. Pause your video. Now scroll through the timeline. Yep. And there's, yeah, that's the one with the hand. Tap, delete. And now when you play, that's gone. Hey, cool. <laughs> to export your movie, hit the arrow on the top left. Now tap the name of the movie to change the name. The keyboard comes up. Um, let's call this Moving Cup. Press done. To export it, press select. Select your movie. Press share. Export movie. And you can choose where you want to send it to. To YouTube or to save it onto your device or anywhere else you want it to go. So, try this at home. Install Stop Motion Studio app onto your phone or iPad. Set up your device in a sturdy place. Make sure you are on 12 frames per second. Move it. Take a picture, move it again. Great, when you're finished, hit the play button. What are you doing? Hey look, I swapped the bottle for a toy and it changed into a toy. Hey, that's great, dog. Transform some more things. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Animation really is magic. Let's transform some more things. We can do a straight swap. Or we can make things change over time. Here's some pictures I made of an apple getting riper. I drew 10 different pictures of the apple. 
each one getting a little bit more red. And here it goes. Wow! Here's another one I did of an egg opening. I drew it with a marker and cut it out with my scissors and then swapped it in every time I took a picture. And that's substitution, right? Right. So you draw different parts of the process, you swap them in and out with each picture. I'm going to change the past to see a little at a time. That's called morphing. Hey, cool! What about a painting? Beautiful. So there's lots of different ways you can transform an object. Try it at home. Swap in one object for another for a quick and magic swap. Or draw and make different parts of the process. Swap them in a picture at a time to show something changing or growing. What will you transform? Always, I mean always, get your settings right before you start shooting. How do I do that? First, click the plus button. Yeah. Now, make sure your settings are right. Click the cog on the left. Yeah, that's it. Put that to 12. That means the scene will be 12 pictures per second. Click the camera button. Yeah. Okay. If your camera is on auto, it might change its focus or brightness or the colours. Do you see how the colours are changing there and how the brightness is shifting? To stop that and keep everything clean and constant, I'm going to click on M, M for manual, and we're sliding to AL. And we want to just lock this, tap to set, lock focus and exposure. So I'm going to tap my character here. If you wanted to brighten them up, you could hit that sun. But for now, I'm just going to leave the picture as is. I'm going to click done. And now when I put in my hand, the brightness and colours are staying the same. Always, I mean always, get your settings right. You have to get your settings right. Got it. Let's look at making characters. First we're going to look at making characters from objects you can find in a house just by adding eyes to them. Remember we substituted objects to swap one from the other? Now you can substitute eyes as well to make them blink or change their expression. <laughs> then we're going to look at how Jane makes clay characters and paper cut out puppets. To follow along you'll need some plasticine for the clay characters and paper or card, marker and a scissors and some blue tack. For the paper cut out puppets. We got our minion toy to blink. We just cut out some cardboard and stuck it over his original eyes. Hey, cool! You can make anything into a character by adding eyes to it. Hey look, we just made a new friend. I'm going to call him Explorer. Explorer! Ha! Get it! Come on, Explorer. Let's see how else we can make characters. Fruit. Great idea. Let's add eyes. We could do paper eyes or... or... Our plasticine eyes. Wow! What else do we have? Mm, a toilet roll and a sock. Let's do it. Look, I've created some different eyes. I've cut them out and stuck them onto card with blue tack to keep them safe until I need them. There's normal eyes and blink eyes. And then there's these eyes, which can be either angry or sad. 
They look angry to me. No, look. If we swap them round, then they're sad. It's the same way with the mouth. This way up, it's happy. This way up, it's sad. Let's try it out. Angry eyes, sad mouth. Really angry. Angry eyes, happy mouth. Mischief! I have an evil plan. (laughs) Sad eyes, happy mouth. A bit apologetic. Uh, Excuse me. Sad eyes, sad mouth. Oh, really sad. Oh, I'm really sad. I love it. So you can make characters out of anything by adding eyes and a mouth to it. (laughs) Woohoo! To record sound, I hit the microphone button. Ready to record. Take me to your leader. So your challenge is to make an ordinary object, our toy, into a character by adding some eyes and a mouth. For a further challenge, add some exaggeration to your eyes and mouth. Make them really big. Here's how my human made clay puppets. I've got a big sausage for the body, a rolled a ball for the head, some sausages for the legs and for the arms. Okay. Just rolled it out to soften it and bent it to make the legs. Now make the legs nice and sturdy so that they can stand. Flatten the ball a little bit for the body, making a little bit more square shape. And I stuck that on top of the legs. That's it. You can smooth it in more than I have here. To make the arms, I'm going to make a taper at one end. So just sort of squeeze it between your fingers. I get my pen, indent into the body on both sides and then stick the arms in and smooth them out. Again, you might take more time to smooth them out. I'm doing this quite quickly. With the head, same thing. Indent with the pen. Make a little bit of a taper by pinching it and stick it in there. I'm going to squash some plasticine for the hair. I sometimes like to shape the hair with the scissors. Today I'm just going to stick it on. Of course this is a human character but you can make any sort of monster or animal. So white balls for the eyes and a little bit of black plasticine for the pupils. I like to make the eyes so you can take them on and off so that they can blink or change expression. So my characters often have big googly eyes. Same with the mouth. Rolled a bit of plasticine and it's really easy to take on and off to make a surprised or shocked mouth. And there you have a very simple character. Oops. <laughs> okay. Remember to make your legs and if you make feet, nice and big so that they hold the character up. What kind of character will you make? Okay, this is how I created a little sheep character. So first, when working with plasticine, you make sure that it's nice and soft. You can roll it into a ball and then roll it into a sausage or an egg. So I'm just making a sausage now for its legs. Okay, four legs. I've got another one here. That's probably a bit small. Okay. And you see I've already rolled an egg for the body and a black egg for the head. And to attach the head to the body, I'm just going to pinch a little bit of a taper. Add in a hole with my pen. Stick the taper in there. And now we've got a head on our body. Okay. Later on I'll add ears and eyes, but for now I'm going to add in legs. Again with one of my legs, I just pinch the top of the sausage, taper, and four legs. One, two, three, four with my pen. 
stick it in and smooth it out. Okay, so I actually have some that I've tapered off here. Now these legs are probably a little bit longer and skinnier than I want them to be, so I'm just going to squash him a bit into the ground and make sure he can stand up and smooth them in. Okay, just it's good to have nice strong legs on your characters so that they actually will hold up. Great. So the next thing my little character needs is eyes. Got two little balls of white, and this one I've added in a black pupil. So here I just want to get a little bit of black and stick it on to the white ball. I like to have big bulgy eyes so that I can easily take them on and off to make them blink. For blinks, I've just got a purple color. Get my scissors or a ruler and indent it a little bit. So you can take off the eyes and add on the blinks instead. So make sure when you're making your characters that it's easy to take on and off the eyes. The ears, it's a little egg, and I just flatten it. And again, flatten it because these are nice and flat. I'm not actually using the pen, but it might be a good idea to taper it and stick it in with the pen. Okay, so that's a very basic little lamb. You could make a dog or a cat or anything like this. And I like to give my sheep a bit of texture. So just roll plasticine. And again, just curl it up. And stick it on to make it look a little bit more woolly. There it is. I've made two heads for him. One of them, I'm going to open the mouth by cutting into it with the scissors and adding a bit of white plasticine as teeth. So to make him ba, we just swap one head for the other and the mouth looks like it's opening up. Uh. You draw the character in pencil, when you're happy, outline it in a marker. This is on a spare piece of paper. I'm going to cut it out in coloured card, so I indent my pattern onto the coloured card, draw it in marker, cut it out, draw it in marker, cut it out, draw it in marker, cut it out, draw it in marker, cut it out. When I've all the bits cut out, I'm going to stick my puppets together. So you could use some blue tack to stick it together or you could tape a bit of wire and sellotape behind it to stick it together. There's lots of ways to do this. And now you have a paper cutout puppet. Hey Paige, can you help me make a scene for my sheep? I have them set up on the table. Well that's good, it's nice and sturdy. But it does not look great. Okay, let's add some background and foreground to your scene. First, we put in a clean blue paper for a sky. 
the clean ground, white paper cloud, coloured in chalk mountains, cut out of paper, a towel for hills, a speaker with some tape on it. A tree made from my toilet roll and a bathroom scrubber. Hey, cool. Paper hedge, paper sheep far away. And now in the foreground, I'm going to put in a wall and a hedge and maybe even some little bits of grass. Wow, that looks amazing. So here's the paper that I coloured in and cut out and the towel I used for the grass. Here's the toilet roll and the scrubber. You can see it's all very, very simple, but when it comes together, it looks really well. Okay. Woof. Robot translate. To be a good boy. Hmm, that's okay, so... We will not kill them then. So you can see how I changed the scene for the dog by putting some hedges in behind him, or he's got mountains behind the alien. And it works for paper cutouts too. Here I've got a space scene. The stars and the planets are different sizes. Also, I cut out my rocket at different sizes. So as I swap it in, it looks like it's getting smaller as it goes away. Cool. Your challenge is to add a foreground and background element to your scene. So your challenge today is to create a movie. It's good to plan your film with a storyboard for all the different angles. Here's a buddy of mine in a short I made. We used wide shots and close-ups. Wide shots show you the scene from far away, while close-ups come in useful for details or emotion. So play, I'm going to hit the play button. And his eyes bulge very quickly, so if I want an image to last longer, I scroll to that frame, tap on the image, and I can press pause. I'm going to hold it for half a second at six frames. Click done. And now let's look. Oh, uh -oh. I'm going to delete that so I can go undo. Yes. Press play. Okay. Don't forget the sound effects. To add sound effects, find the frame where you want to add it just here. Press the microphone, ready to record. Press record. When you're done your recording, you can tap, press audio, play it, and if it's not in quite the right position, you can trim by pulling on these little bars. If you press play, press play. If you're happy, press done. You can put up and down your volume with the little speaker. When you're happy, press done. And now you have a sound effect. Here's how we made a movie. Here's a list of the stages from start to finish. Number one. Storyboard. Plan your story with a storyboard. Keep it simple. I use separate pieces of paper and very rough drawings. It means you can throw them out, you can add them in. It's all about getting your story right. So you don't need to be precious about your drawings. And it's great if they can move around if you're not just drawing on a single sheet. Number two, draw or make your characters and your scene. Number three, animate your characters. You have to get your settings right. And click on M, M for manual. Sliding to AL, just lock this, tap to set, lock focus and exposure. So I'm going to tap my character here and click done. Number four, 
edit your scenes to get them in the right order and to take out any mistakes. The, it was easier to shoot the rocket coming and going in one go, but I want to start the movie with the rocket coming and end the movie with the rocket going. So we scroll through our pictures, then we're going to select. So I tap on the frame, it turns blue, I hold down select and select all the frames that I want to move to a different place. When they're selected, press cut and then go to where you want to put them, press paste and now the rocket scene is at the end of the clip. Number five. Add sound effects and dialogue. You can record your own sound by pressing the microphone button. If you have the purple version of Stop Motion Studio, you can add sound effects by pressing the little plus sign. So press the plus button, go to audio, you can scroll through and listen, press the little triangle to listen. When you find it a sound that you like, Click on it and it turns up on the frame. Press play to listen. To trim that sound effect, select it and go to audio and trim. Number six, add title. To add titles, press the plus button. Add titles. Number seven, add some music. Number eight, export your movie and share it with the world. To export it, press select. Select your movie, press share. Export movie and you can choose where you want to send it to. Destination Earth. Shall we destroy this Earth? Hmm, let's see. Let's test them first. There is a life form. Take me to your leader. Bah! Bah! What is your purpose? Woof. Robot translate. To be a good boy. Hmm, that's okay, so. We will not kill them then. I think her things are cute, airy, smelly, but cute. Let's go make a movie, it's time to make a movie, cause it's all over, it's time to go. Paige says make some movie, Paige says let's a movie, it's time to go, it's time to go.